So finally, I uploaded the new update for my Garrett Vortex VX9 metal detector. And uh, well, as some of the followers and subscribers of my channel, thank you guys that you're sending me messages about uh, Vortex that your units has had some uh, technical problems and technical issues, especially when you have two objects, you know, on the surface, and the, those objects are ferrous and non-ferrous one, and then you swing your coil and the metal detector somehow the vortex memorizes the signal, and uh, if you were swinging over the ferrous object and you turn your coil to non-ferrous one, then the sound was only ferrous. I don't know how does that happen, but I never experienced that issue with my Garrett Vortex VX9. I had only several problems with the updating of the software of my metal detector, and uh, those problems has been solved as well and i'm so so glad about it and now i want to show you this is the latest version of the uh, vortex software 9.09 .09. let's try it with two objects i have there you know one ferrous object and one non-ferrous object the copper huge copper coin i think you haven't seen that let's go and check what objects are that so as you can see that's a huge copper and that's a, an iron object. So, I have the vortex here. As you can see, 09.09. .09. Then I have so many mosquitoes here. So, zero, multifrac, and almost I haven't changed anything. So, let's try now. As you can see, the ferrous signal. And now let's go to the non ferrous one. Once again, that works. If you want, I will turn it off and turn it on again. 9.09, .09. and let's start now with the non ferrous one. 97, as you can see, pure copper. Let's go to, to the ferrous one. Non ferrous, ferrous. Looks like the problem has been solved now. And let's test. Let's test the new software version of my, you know, silver hammered coins that I have buried here many years ago. So the first coin is the silver hammered, and the depth is. 15 centimeters. Let's go and check it. 53. Let's go to settings and check what we have. So, sensitivity on max, volume on max, iron volume 4, multifrac, channel 4, recovery speed 1, and the rest is not that critical. So, 17 centimeters. Really nice sound, and as you can see, good object. Now, 20 centimeters. For most of the metal detectors, the 20 centimeters is the critical depth. And here, the metal detector catches the signal, non ferrous one, good. So, 22. A bit ferrous because the object here, the coin itself, is a bit smaller than the previous ones. 25 is even smaller. I should actually find the coins with the similar uh, similar size. And 28, almost non ferrous. Sorry, mosquitoes are being eating me. Even more if I used some chemicals, but it doesn't help at all. As you can see. Non ferrous, good signal. Now I have here the hoard, a small treasure actually, five centimeters in diameter, full of copper coins, and the depth is 60 centimeters. Just imagine, 60 centimeters. That's a good result. That's a Garrett Vortex. 
Wow. That works. Now let's try it with the German helmet, M42 model. The depth is one meter, 26 centimeters. Just imagine how I was, you know, <laughs> trying to dig this <laughs> hole and oh damn. It took me several time actually. So let's test it. Still a result, a good result. So it works. So what could be the conclusion? The conclusion is pretty simple. I think that Garrett solves most of the problems. Now they don't have a problem with the software updates of the Vortex. Now they don't have a problem as well with uh, these targets. I never experienced that problem. I only heard it from several YouTubers and uh, at least two of my followers, you know, they wrote me directly to Facebook and uh, mentioned that they are experiencing the same problem with, oh damn, fly away from me. <laughs> it was the huge back. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm scared. So they experienced this problem with their purchased Vortex metal detectors. But as I said, everyone will have an issue. The main question is how those issues are being solved. That's the most important. And the second thing is at least the metal detector, you know, you can use that, you can detect, you can search your targets, it's not that critical uh, issues that compared to those that we uh, have experienced, you know, the years ago when I showed you some of the new models. The mosquitoes are eating me and nothing helps, nothing stops them. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have the Vortex and if you have experienced the same issues with the Vortex, is that now solved? Is this issue, you know, with the uh, signals when you have the targets, the different targets like ferrous and non -ferrous. If you had this issue, please let me know if it's being solved or not. It would be nice to read your comments and your experience. So, all the best to you and see you. Bye bye.